Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to display all the open cases of an organization on the home page on Salesforce application. Now the idea behind this is that let's suppose we have a visual for uh, we have a Salesforce application and in that Salesforce application whenever a user clicked on the home page like I have clicked on the home page and whenever the user clicked on this this particular link uh, on the left side in the on the extreme left in this narrow pan it will display the total number of opened cases within the current organization within the current cases object it should display here so this number three is basically the the open cases the remaining open cases so based on that the user will be knowing that how many cases are remained open and uh, so that he will be going to solve all the cases as soon as possible now to perform this because on the left side on the extreme left side what we are uh, we have to create a component and in that component we are going to extract the data from cases object using visual force and controller and apex classes and then we'll present we'll add it in the uh, as a component on a home page so let's create this so first of all i'm going to create one apex page so i switch to salesforce and before starting before start creating the visual force pages or before start building this uh, building the solution let's look at the cases how many cases are open so so there are total three open cases it will display there will be total three open cases so first let's create one apex of visual force page so calculate open case that will be the name of the visual force page click on create page calculate open case this will create a blank visual force page in this visual force page I'll just specify first of all I specify here I set the sidebar is equal to false I set sidebar is equal to false in similar way I'll set show header is equal to false and also I set the standard style sheet also set it to false because we are going to define our own style sheet and then I'm going to use a controller so I specify the controller name as case side bar controller example and I'll save it so I'll get an error message for creating this controller so I create this controller as public with sharing Then I create here HTML, HTML slash HTML head slash head, and in this I define my own style slash style. And what's the style? I st set style as body, and in this body I set background color set to hash. This will be in a hexadecimal format. So hash C E E D F seven, and also I want to set the font. So font family area, and I set font size is equal to let's say fifteen px. Style is closed, and after head, obviously we need to start the body. So I start body and slash body open and body close now within this body I'm going to create one apex polar data table and this table will be going to read the value from it will read the value from case count by status so we are passing this value from on we are passing this value into this data table 
from our controller so we need to define in our control and I set where is equal to state and in this data table we need to add columns so I add columns into it fx colon column so it's a self closing tag so I just copy this uh, I'm going to make it because we need two columns one to display the uh, display the text one another is to display the uh, numbers so in this count I display fx colon output text I set the default style for this page as well output text okay I think this is wrong it should be fx colon output text and I set style is equal to font family uh, not family actually I just want font weight is set to bold and it gets a value where it display the value as a state what's the state actually it's a open or close or what in similar way we want to create another column so I'll just copy the same text and paste it copy paste and this will display the style I set the style first of all here so, so the style will be spreading from left it will be 10 px 10 px and value is equal to case count by status whatever value here we get in this from there I just wanted to display the state so Count, case count by status now I copy this case count by status state and I'll save this so we'll get error messages because we don't have this case count by status does not exist we need to define this in our controller class so now I get to the controller class and define this you can see we are getting error message so I click on the controller class and very first thing I'm going to define is I'm going to use as a map uh, for mapping so public map and the first will hold a string second value will be integer and it will create case count by status so we want to use the same one so case count by status and copy paste it case count by status and get and set the value then I need to initialize the constructor. I define a constructor here. Is controller example. That's the controller. And in this controller, uh, I create a list list as a string closed labels is equal to new list and new list type will be string so this will store all the closed cases so whatever closed cases do we have it will store in this closed labels and then I want to read the I want to know that how many closed cases will be there so I run a for loop here for case status I define as a K C A and D and I write a SQL query here select master labels but it should be master label from case status where is closed is equal to true and this loop will run and the value will be stored into C and D and in closed labels I add closed labels dot add dot add C A and D dot master label in similar way so this will validate how many close how many status how many cases are there whose label is closed whose status is closed it will store in the closed label list in similar way I want to know case count by case count by status equal to new map string comma integer and I define this integer 
and again I run a for loop for aggregate aggregate result AR is equal to select status comma count ID of case count from from case where status not in where status not in closed labels and I want to group them by so aggregation to perform aggregation I want to group by group by status and so it will extract only those labels who whose status is not closed and case count by status dot put string because it's a map so a string ar dot get status comma it's basically we are type casting it ar dot get and case count and now we click on save I'm getting one error message it should not be equal it should be semicolon like we have in this query so after all the errors are resolved you can see I'm getting one output here new three new means the status is new and the total number of new cases are three it means it display the total number of open cases but this is not my requirement if my requirement is I would like to display this on the home page now to appear this on the home page I'll get to the home page first of all and we are going to add a new component on the home page so I click on setup scroll to customize home home page component and we need to create a new custom home page component I click on custom components this will be a visual force area because it's a visual force page so I click on next provide a name case count by status select visual force area next so select the visual force page the visual force page which we created just now uh, let's look for the page which we have defined just now the name of the pages that was a page name calculate open case so from here I select calculate open case I set the height pixel in 50 and I want to display in the narrow left column because we have two we have two type of co column wide right column and narrow left I want to display on the narrow left column so I sit opt for this option click on save now the component has been created now in next step we'll be going to place the components on the home page so in order to do that again I scroll down to customize click on home page layout edit the default layout and you can see in the narrow component to show we are getting the component which we created just now case count by status so I select it click on next And then I would change the location. I moved it at the top and click on save. And now when I click on home page, you can see the output as required. But as you can see here, I'm not getting the exact exact value as required because it's we are into development mode right now. So what we need to do is I need to click on settings and 
we need to disable the development mode by going into setting and advanced user details edit and I disable the development mode because if it is development mode it will always display the output it will always display the coding part so I disable the development mode save it and let's try it click on home and you can see the exact output we as required so there are total number of three cases you can more customize it you can provide labels headers and footers you can provide it by doing customization or by using apply style sheet also you can apply borders set the background color and all we can use the same option for displaying the current total number of opportunities which are about to close or how many opportunities have been won, how many opportunities have been closed. So we can use this, this scenario for multiple tasks. So that's all in this video. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsvtrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Salesforce. You can Contact to us for a customized training on Salesforce. We are into Salesforce development as well as Salesforce consultant. Also, we are providing the Salesforce training both for development as well as admin. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.